Hello guys, it's WazaTZK and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the Beam Smasher on Terminus Zombies. This is a little bit of a long-winded process, it is a little bit longer than the Jet Gun Guide, but believe me, once you've done it, it is really worth it. So of course the first thing you want to do is turn on the power, the game will actually show you where to go on the hood, but once you have done that race to pack a punch by jumping into the water and pressing the button, and before you do raise it any further you do need to get dead wire, you can buy this from the ammo mod machine for 500 scrap, and once you do have dead wire you want to raise the platform again, behind the raise button there will be an electrical box you need to shoot with your dead wire, when you do shoot the box do follow the current and shoot the box to your right which will then follow the current up to the very top and then run down to the cabin where Juggernog is you want to shoot the electrical box next to the stairs then go through the other door and shoot the electrical box just outside and once the doors are open you want to go inside and shoot the zombies stuck on the floor they will drop an EMF fob and now that you have this EMF fob you do need to activate three laptops around the map your first one is found near the docks up these stairs if you go through the garage here, go straight ahead across the bridge, then if you zip line down it will be up these stairs to your right and it will just be in the corner on the top of the stairs. Your second laptop is actually located near the spawn room where you first begin, so if you go right and follow the door out where Quick Revive is, it's just in the corner here. And your final laptop is just down the stairs from the second one, so you go through the juggernaut room again, take the stairs to your left, and it'll be just outside here in the corner. Once all three laptops are activated, go back down the stairs through the workshop, across the bridge into this room where you'll find this briefcase here. It's just opposite Elemental Pop in the back. If you in case you can't find it and to open it you basically just use your interact button in my case i'm using pc so i'm going to use f then turn around and go back across the bridge that you came from there will be a battery on the desk just to the right you will need this for building the weapon once you have both of these take it back to the science room near jug interact with the computer closest to the door which will now need a code here's the thing you could either work it out on your own or you could basically bribe peck for the code which is what we're going to do you will need to say what 5000 points to do this so make sure you do have enough and when you do have enough points run back to the starting area where you'll see peck in the office interacting with him will give him 5000 points and the code will be displayed on this little screen here so run back to the computer again um, where Juggernog is and input it into the terminal. It will then begin this map search thing for a location and the only way to find the specific location is to end the round that you're currently on. Once the round is over it will pinpoint a location on the screen. I recommend using your mini map and pinpointing it there that way you can track it on your hood. I would also don't forget to pick up the resonator as well on top of the computer you will need it and this next step will require you to use a boat to get to the external islands outside of the main island so there is either a boat on the docks where the first computer is or there is one underground where you first get pack a punch. Now before you do go on to this next step I would actually recommend pack a punching and getting some good armor and perks as it is tougher this step without it and I did learn that the hard way. So once you do arrive at the island where you marked on your map there will be a blue portal. Remember to pick up your resonator before because you will need it to interact with it. Pressing F on the portal will put the resonator down in the sand and you will begin this next step but once you do have that what you need to do is wait for a zombie to spawn in with blue gas around it and try and kill it as close as you can to the blue portal. Once you do kill it it will drop a crystal which you need to pick up off the ground and run towards the portal and when you do pick up the crystal it will slow you down significantly which is why I'd recommend killing the zombie near the portal and you will take a lot of damage as well which is why I recommend using good armor so once you've done this the portal will move again to a different island make sure you pick up the resonator on the ground it'll be highlighted yellow once it's ready and if you go in the direction where the portal went and keep going straight you need to go to this island here with lots of trees just past these small islands and this time the portal will be green and you just repeat the same thing again. Remember to kill those green zombies near the portal and when you pick up the crystal keep jumping as fast as you can to put it into the portal and unfortunately yes it will move again 
but this is the final one and once you've done this one then you're basically done with this step but what you want to do is get back in your boat strive up to the shipwreck just outside of the main island and you want to go keep going straight ahead from the shipwreck and there will be a small island with like a purple portal and again you just do the same thing as you did before and there you go the most difficult step i'd say is over with so just relax and all we have to do now is craft the weapon do make sure you do pick up the resonator off the ground as it is important but once you do have that head back to the main island in the room where jug is you can now craft the weapon again zombies can hit you whilst crafting so make sure you use a decoy or monkey bombs or even end the round and it won't take too long and there you go you have your beam smasher ready to go this is definitely a life-saving weapon towards the higher round so it is important I do also have a guide for the jet gun as well, Liberty Falls, in case you need that. This is it for me, don't forget to like and subscribe, join Discord if you're new, and I'll see you in another guide.